One. Good afternoon, Trojans. On today's show, we'll have the district choir results. Also on the show, we'll meet the new choir teacher. This and more coming up on Trojan TV News. Thanks for joining us, Trojans. I'm Andrew Stone. And I'm Tristan Hashimoto. It's Monday, October 7, 2024, and here are your top news and announcements. These Park Hill Choir students earned their way into the judges' hearts at the KC Metro District Honor Choir Competition. The soprano, alto, tenor, bass choir honorees are Riley Bornheimer, Eileen Hertz, Ruth Ridings, Angela Villamore, Xavier Schneider, Gabe Wilmoth, Jalen Mack, Ben Smith, Jayla Aquilino, and Sabra Staggs. The Soprano Soprano Alto Alto Honor Choir members are Liren Staggs, Riot Zaid, Uriel Gabriel, Chamberlain Webster and Kennedy Altic, Cole Butler, Disney Maldonado, Gamez, Jackson Cobb, Maddox Fullen, Yaden Netherland, and Corbin Moyer all earned a spot on the tenor tenor bass bass choir honor choir and Lauren Cobb Devin Fulworthy, Garrett Webster, and Jackson Doty all made the freshman sophomore on our choir. It looks like the choir has not lost a step even though the choir is teacher retiring last year. That means there's a new face in the building. Trojan TV news reporter Rylan Farron got to learn more about the new choir teacher, Miss Reimer, in this profile. <laughs> Miss Reimer is the new choir teacher at Park Hill this school year and is on her 12th year of teaching music. She is more than excited for what the school year brings and feels very welcomed. I love the students. They've been super warm and welcoming so far. And uh, the staff that I get to work with, the performing arts department, is awesome. She also has a master's degree in vocal performance and is known for making class very fun while also helping students extend their ability to sing. Um, I'm very glad that she came to Park Hill. Um, you know, it's weird kind of coming into the class and actually having a plan on the board, and she encourages sight reading and really wants the best for us. Um, and her plan every single day is to make us better, but to let us have fun while doing it. Ms. Reimer also helped one of the students from her old school, Mill Valley, become a finalist in theater performance. She also grows connections with the students, which makes them feel welcomed in the classroom. I think she makes it much more fun and um, easygoing because her teaching style is very different and I like it a lot. She's also just really easy to connect with, just as a person, and she's really positive and I like that a lot in how it affects the classroom. Miss Reimer will be conducting this upcoming fall concert on October 17th. And with that, I'm Marlon Farron reporting on the Hill with Trojan TV News. You look like a beach today. That's not very nice, Andrew, but I look you mess with your flow. Let's send it over to a Rylan Farron with the weather report. Thanks, Dawson Isla. Today is Monday, October 7th, 2024, and it was pretty cold this morning, so throughout the day it's going to get a little warmer. If you're going to the, the JV or freshman football game or the softball game against Liberty, you know, enjoy the weather. It's going to be real nice. On to our um, seven-day forecast. Um, tomorrow through, throughout really, the rest of the week into next week, it's going to be real nice, especially Wednesday, Friday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday, we're almost getting the high 80s, and the lows are going to be pretty nice. So enjoy this next week of weather. And with that, I'm Ryland Farron. Now back to the desk. Thanks, Ryland. Are there any sports tonight? Um, not too sure. Let's send it to Miles McFarland for today's sports updates. Thanks, guys. The softball team had a great run with their win streak. They extended it to 17 in a row before it came to an end at the QP Classic in Columbia over the weekend. The Trojans defeated Fort Zumwalt South, South 10-3, Blair Oaks 3-1, and Oak Grove 4-3. The streak came to an end with a close 5-4 loss to Lee Summit West. The team sits at 18-6 for the season. 
The boys' soccer team traveled over to North Kansas City on Thursday. The Trojans shut out the Hornets 6 to nothing. Jack Unsel and Logan Conley led the team by both scoring two goals each. Hudson Brown and Owen Koski each added a goal. Brown also had two assists while Conley, Koski, Gabe Anderson, and Tegan Turner each had one. Goalies Will Poole and Nolan Hevelin combined for the shutout. The team is now 6-1-3 and three on the season. The volleyball team suffered a 3 to nothing loss to Park Hill South on Thursday and moved to 13-5 and five on the year. The boys' swim and dive team competed in the Eubank Invitational in Raytown on Friday. The Trojans finished third out of six with 185 points. Jack Stanley took second in the 100 butterfly and the 100 backstroke, and the 200 freestyle relay team came in third. The football team came up with a close win on Friday night. The Trojans clipped the Liberty Blue Jays 21-17. to Quarterback Zane Thomas went 26 for 42 in passing for 342 yards and three touchdowns. Braylon Ag caught nine of those passes for 155 yards and two touchdowns, while Dante Dixon led the defense with an interception. The team improves to 4-2 and on the season. Coming up on the Trojan Varsity Sports Calendar for today, the softball team hosts Liberty at 5 p.m. That's it for your Trojan Sports Report. I'm Miles McFarland. Now back to Andrew and Tristan. Thanks, Miles. The following clubs and activities meet today after school. Gaming club meets for eSport competitions and tomorrow for practice and open lab. Both gatherings are in room 27. Also, craft club will meet on Wednesday in room 112. Non-fall sport athletes interested in going out for wrestling should attend the meeting after school on Tuesday in the cafeteria. For more information, see Coach Beck. Boys interested in playing basketball must attend a meeting after school on Wednesday in the cafeteria. See Coach Jones with your questions. Girls interested in swimming or diving this winter should attend an informal meeting on Thursday after school in room 304. Please bring your laptops. Spirit Week started today with All the Places Will Go Day. Tuesday is Get Your Groove On Day where you can sport 70s disco attire. It's Dads and Dynamos Day on Wednesday where it's barbecue versus soccer moms. Thursday is denim overall, so wear all denim, and Friday is Trojans Go Greek Day, with the entire school wearing red, except for the seniors who can wear togas. That's all we have for you today, Trojans. I'm Andrew Stone. And I'm Tristan Hashimoto. Have a great rest of your day, Trojans.